We're going to watch some videos on the radio. Oh, all right. <laughs> that's what I thought you said. People, see, people that's the great, the, well, the great Stan Freeberg said, see you on the radio. And when he was doing some of his really amazing mind imagery uh, that he did as uh, mock and real radio commercials. He could paint pictures in the mind that uh, were every, every bit as vivid as, as TV. And, wow. Yeah, so pretty neat. Okay, we have uh, already to look at on the page for tonight's program. And again, go to ghostweb.com. Just scroll down a little bit till you see the banner for tonight's program. And click on that, and you'll actually come to the page for tonight's program. And if you'll scroll by Dave and Sharon's 38 books, we'll get down to where we need to be. Hey, you guys are cranking out the books. That's wonderful. (laughs) Yep. Very good. All right, let's look at uh, poltergeist number one, demonic poltergeist activity. Anyone who believes that poltergeist is demonic is based on television. Okay. I have a hunch where this is going. All right, here we go. Wait a minute. All right, I'm this is pretty good so far. interesting, you know, I, when I first looked at it, I thought, well, maybe it's going to be that rock and chair syndrome, you know, with the fish wire or something. But there were sufficient things being moved that did not appear to be coming toward the camera. Correct. As now, if you were pulling a, pull the drawer open something, it was, things are flipping right to left. And, uh-huh. You don't, you don't see a bunch of nylon line being jerked around. All right, if this is real, these people better move the hell out of there. Although, they probably have a teenage daughter. Well, it looks like they have children from... I didn't read the... uh, uh, He said that he had uh, poltergeist activity taking place in his home, so he decided to set up his camera when he left for work. I can see why he named this demonic. It's not. It's pretty violent. Um, the the, the idea guy with, simply means a noisy ghost. Correct. It doesn't mean anything evil or no. good. It just right. means a ghost that is noisy. Uh, that you hear, you know, footsteps or, or muffled voices is a poltergeist. But because of television and Hollywood, a poltergeist now is anything that's destructive, and that's not true. The idea is also that in many, if not most, poltergeist investigations in the home, there are usually girls, young yeah. girls, teenage girls, uh, tween girls, whatever. There's something about the energy that is connected or thought to be connected to these kinds of events. And, and it's not even poltergeist, any... Any home that has uh, any haunting, haunting yeah. that's occurring that's on a negative basis uh-huh. uh, is generally a result of someone in the family that has uh, an anger or, or bitterness or stress issues or Amazing. A, a young person, a teenager. Yeah. Well, you think about how much anger there must be for this kind of a thing to manifest by moving things so violently, if this is real. Um, it just means that the spirit is frustrated, is upset. It's now, it's not the little girl. It's not the little girl, let's say. It's not the teenage girl. It's a spirit in the house? Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's the spirit in the house. that's drawing from the energy that's in the house. Which So like, they're feeding off the, the girl's, let's just say it's a girl. The, girl's, okay. the little girl's anger at her parents or whatever. Right. And, and so the like ghost a battery is, is emitting energy, and a spirit of like disposition, uh-huh. an angry spirit, uh-huh. 
uh, is uh, is feeding off that and doing the things, you know, the pranks, uh, destructive things, throwing things around, opening cabinets, knocking pictures off the wall. Well, that, that energy that I'm seeing in this tape, we'll talk more about this. We have to take a, a top-of-the-hour break here, but that's, that's very... Uh, very impressive. I, I don't know what Dave and Sharon think of this formally, but we will find out, and then all of you take another look at this. If it is strings being pulled and things jerked around like that, that's eh, pretty well done for a home video.